Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome. We have an unboxing today, fresh from the shelves of the Compass Games sale area at Compass Games Expo 2022. And this is a game I've had my eye on for a while now. It's on a topic that I am not exceptionally familiar with, or even somewhat familiar with, the Spanish Civil War. This is Crusade and Revolution, uh, the Spanish Civil War, 1936 to 1939, designed by David Gomez Rioso and published by Compass Games. Now, this is the second edition, which I have seen referred to as a deluxe edition, and it is in a big box uh, that is nevertheless two inches thick. It is quite heavy. It is obviously on a mounted map. Um, so whether it's called the deluxe edition officially or not is beside the point. It is Pretty deluxe as far as I can tell, but let's make sure it. So let's see what we have here. I think this is uh, this second edition was published three or four years ago. I want to say that uh, the second time I, or the first time I went to Compass Expo, this was relatively new at that time. And the box size feels actually like about the same footprint as an old GDW flat box, but it is nevertheless not a flat box because it is two inches thick. So what we have here is what I think we're going to find is a game based on the chassis of uh, Paths of Glory, which has been a pretty versatile approach um, for card-driven games. We have two decks of cards, a Republican card side and a Nationalist side. Of course, I have played through the Spanish Civil War in a variety of strategic level over two games, two dice, red and blue. Um, but that's not really going to show you a whole lot, right? Um, so we've got some very odd counter sheets. We have six uh, counter sheets here of pre-rounded counters. Uh, you know, as a counter clipper, I am certainly delighted when they have done the work for me. Uh, and I don't have to round the corners. And that is the case here, so that's very nice. So what we have here, there's some, some large counters and there are smaller counters. The large counters look to be roughly three quarters of an inch. The smaller counters look like they're roughly nine sixteenths. Um, and these are the different sizes of units, actually, and they'll affect stacking as well, at least if the game is as identical as, or similar to Paths of Glory as I think it is. Um, so the big units are going to be cores, the smaller units are going to be divisions. Um, and the numbers are basically a combat strength, a sort of resilience, and I believe a movement rating. Um, I'm not sure what the, that terminology is called here. Uh, but in any case, we have some, some pink guys, some blue guys, and some markers. And there are six of these. And these are on a nice, uh, pretty thick. I've seen thicker, but this is like a, you know, it's, it, it's great. Uh, thick stock. Um, we've got some markers that are on the large counters and a, a lot of markers that are on the small counters. The two sides here, of course, will be... The Republican government, which is backed by both the Western Allies and the Soviets, um, although the Soviets much more enthusiastically, and the Nationalists, who are backed by Fascist Italy and Germany. And, of course, this occurs all in 1936 and 37. And still leaves its scars on Spain today, I, I guess I'll point out. Um, so we have some, some reference sheets. So these are sheets, not cards. Um, here's combat units and markers, and there's two of these. And on the one side, it gets an explanation of all the markers and, and the units. And on the other side, uh, we have uh, some explanations of the events chits. Uh, we also have these. These are the true player aid cards. And again, these, these are really sheets rather than uh, cards. They're on, a, they're on a heavy paper rather than a card stock. These are identical. We've got fire table for divisions and cores. Uh, a TEC. Uh, the, what the terrain looks like is not in here, but it is over here. And then we have positions, trenches, and beachheads. I'm not sure how those work. I certainly remember how they work in Paths of Glory. Um, and I imagine there's some overlap between the way that the trenches work, at least. But um, the others, I'm not sure. Now, in, very unusual... Ooh, boy, this is fancy. Very unusual rulebook for uh, Compass here. I want, I, 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 boy, I could swear this thing was printed in Europe because um, the book feels taller than normal. So the rule book here is a, uh, are there page numbers? Am I missing them? A roughly 80 page rule book. 
um, on a really thick paper and a really thick cover. And it is perfect bound, so I don't know if you can see that or not. It's got the square binding. I always have a concern about that uh, because in my experience, perfect bound books don't hold up very well um, it, with repeated use. But hey, you can go download the, the, the electronic version. So this is both the rule book and the playbook, by the way. That's why it's 80 pages. Um, relatively small print, full color, glossy paper. It looks pretty nice. Amply illustrated, I would say. This is one of... Um, Compass's highest rated games on Board Game Geek. Um, you can read into that whatever you like, um, but it is it is a very well regarded game. We're now into the playbook sections. There's probably scenarios, but maybe not a lot of scenarios. Uh, looks like we have one, two, three, four, five scenarios. It's more than I expected, to be honest. Uh, we've got some combat examples back here. Advice for novice players. I noticed that this is also published by a span a history section of the Spanish Civil War. That's great for those of us who aren't necessarily particularly familiar with this topic, which I would venture to say is most Americans who aren't historians or wargamers. Um, and even most wargamers, there's not that many uh, games on this topic. There are there are some. It's not like there's none, but there's. I mean, I've got I've got one already, but it's the Europa uh, Spanish Civil War game for whom the bell tolls, and there's no way I'm playing that ever. So why do I have it? Great question. Uh, very very highly produced rule book. Uh, consulted bibliography. Looks like there's a lot of sources in Spanish here, which. Shouldn't surprise anybody. Uh, designer David Gomez Rioso, uh, graphic artist Nicolas Escubi, um, whose work we have seen rather a lot of here. Now let's take a look at the board because I am not sure. Boy, it's even bigger than I thought. Okay, so what we have here are two boards, um, each of which is four panels. So I'm going to be able to show you exactly one of these because it is. Now uh, yeah, it's not going to be that one. That one's. Eastern Spain or Western Spain, and we'll show you quite a bit less. Um, very, very unusual production here for Compass. Not, not because it's nice, because there's plenty of nice Compass games, um, but uh, the form factor of the box and the map and the rule book are all different than ever otherwise we've seen from Compass. Um, so it's a mounted map. Obviously, it's, it's in two pieces, and I'd say it's pretty close, but not quite as big as two full-sized paper maps that one might typically see in war games. And I apologize that it's turned sideways, but this is the camera angle we have, and we have to live with it. Um, it lays dead flat. Uh, I don't have a perfectly flat surface because I got this mat under it. Uh, this map lays dead flat straight out of the box. Uh, that's always nice, and obviously we have. Uh, spaces, it's a point-to-point -point map. The connections between the spaces will have different values depending on whether they're lines or dashes. Um, I believe the colors represent the starting positions, with the pink spaces being the Republicans and the blue spaces being the Nationalists. I, I think I'm right about that. Um, and the outline spaces are likely to be victory point or objective spaces. So very nice looking game from Compass, uh, Crusade and Revolution. I presume from the name, feel free to correct me if this is nonsense, that the designer is a Spanish designer. Um, uh, and, and that wouldn't surprise me considering the surprising number of people from Spain who were at Compass Expo this year. I don't believe the designer was, but if I am wrong, then I will be, I will be properly embarrassed. Uh, we're not going to take a look at the cards today. Um, they're going to be action, uh, action point cards. There's going to be ops points. You can play the card for the ops points or the, um, or the event. Some events will come out, out of the, out of the game when they are played as events. Um, and you're going to have a menu of things you can do with the ops points or action points or whatever we're calling them in this particular game. I think it's safe to say that we're all reasonably familiar with this mechanic by now. 
So Crusade and Revolution, Spanish Civil War from Compass Games, designer David Gomez Rioso. Uh, very impressive looking production from Compass, and it's a very interesting looking game. Looks very well done. Um, don't know that I'm going to get this to the table particularly soon, because there's rather a lot of stuff in the itinerary at the moment. Uh, but it does look really good, and I do absolutely plan to get it to the table sooner or later. Hopefully you've found this video valuable. If so, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the channel, and I'd like to give a special shout Shout out to the patrons of Ardwolf's Lair, without whose support, encouragement, and support, it would be impossible to do all the stuff that we do here at Ardwolf's Lair. So thank you patrons, thank you for watching, and until next time, happy wargaming!